Well, it's funny because we we never write uh, like day in day out. I was just explaining this earlier on. We're a way better band when we've lived lived life and then try and reflect on it on the recording of the album. And uh, you know we don't record albums. Um, you know, over here in Botswana and somewhere in thing in the back of a truck, we, we go to a place and we sit around as friends and talk about the past year and about what's going on and the big things that have gone on in that year. And uh, you know, I guess as being you know, say young men, you know, I'm 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 still single now, but I kind of tend to go fluctuate between, you know, being in a relationship, going out with one, and being in a relationship, going out with one, and um, that is it's very much so on the tip of my tongue for most of the well for the first album in particular. I just I come out of a breakup, so that's exactly what's going to happen um, in the album. And I think you know my my father passed away, Mark's mother passed away during the recording of that first album, and it was it's a it's a, it's a hard thing to to think of at the time because you get critiqued on something that's so personal to you sure. at that time, um, and all you can do is just offer it up as a piece of art. Um, but it's, yeah, it is it's quite strange because then the second album, then it was more about science and faith was about the story of a girl and a man, a man being science, woman being faith, and all the intricacies, intricacies in a relationship. There wasn't really too many uh, breakup ones uh, on that one, but then, then of course, you know, I, my long-term girlfriend, I split up with my long-term girlfriend, and uh, and it was just the right time. That happened to fall right in the, the period where we were writing an album. A few months later now, I could have got out of the way, if you know what I mean, <laughs> but it just happens to, to, to fall right on that. But look, you can always expect the script to be writing about what's going on in our lives. No, I'm not reading into the songs too much, but they're all there. They're diaries, you know. You know everything from you know uh, glorifying Jesse being a being a diva to you know to Tom Jones, you know, um, viciously being said, well, you know, well, is he going to be alive to see the show? There's a lot of stuff that ha happened around that time that was unfair, unjust. But I think it's because when you're trying to change a format, when you're trying to change something that was already a staple diet sure. of what's there, and that I think the cons were if I had have failed miserably and nobody was watching and there wasn't a big hullabaloo and we weren't pit up against everything and it just come and gone that was the con was you know was the first time the script had lent our name to something and we really backed it because we i really i still believe in the show you know i know the ratings kind of dropped off towards the end of it when people have become very familiar with the format that a lot of other tv shows obviously had that same style format towards the end but the the initial size the blinds the battles they were all new and fresh and i was like as a you know, as a, as a musician, I was excited by it. I really, genuinely, I'm still excited to go back in to do the second series. So the cons were, is it going to work? If it didn't work, okay, you've got, you know, other people to kind of fall back on and say, right, well, we all did it together and it didn't harm any of us. But, you know, it could have went really wrong. You know, I just, um, I feel definitely for the script and for the band, uh, for what we needed to do, it was, it was an amazing vehicle. And, you know, again, I'm, I'm blessed to BBC for giving me the chance mm -hmm. to do it.